Hello lovelies, it is this time of year where some of you are starting to get your mocks back and some of you are having conversations in science and in maths as to whether you should do the higher or the foundations here. Now there are lots of advantages to both, there is no one definite answer as to which one's better and which one's worse, there is no that's not like what we're doing here. There are advantages and disadvantages to both the higher and the foundation here so I'm going to talk to you about all of that today and give you lots of information to help you make this decision. So I know for some people there's going to be a little bit of snobbery involved that the higher tier is better because you can get higher grades on it and not the snobbery but it is true you can get higher grades on the higher tier so if you want a six or above then the higher tier is definitely the one that you need to be doing but if you don't need a six or above if you're a five student then there is a lot to be said for doing the foundations here. There is less content on the foundations here. There is for both science and maths whole chunks of content that only is assessed on the higher tick. So you have less to learn. It varies exactly between subjects but it's around 75% of the content is similar between the two of them. So if you've been doing the foundation tier up until now and you decide you want to try the higher tier, there is a lot of content that you would still need to do. Now obviously I can help you with that because I've got loads of videos and I can find you a tutor if that's what you want, but if you want to make that switch between the foundation and the higher tier, be aware you will have to do a lot of learning by yourself because your teacher will not have time in class to go over everything that you've missed. So one of the advantages of the foundations here is that there is less stuff to revise. The other advantage of the foundation tier is that the questions are going to be in an easier format. So in the higher paper you might get an open-ended question which has a statement on it, whereas in the foundation tier that same question might be scaffolded, it might be multiple choice, it might be broken down into different bits to make it easier for you to answer. Because what the examiners really want to do is for you to get the most marks possible. And if that is making things easier on the foundation tier, that is what will happen. So the foundation tier has less content and the question style is going to be easier for you. So if you are really, really, really stressed about your maths, you're on for a grade five, you've been trying papers and you've never got a grade six before in your life, maybe the foundation tier would be the better option for you. It will be less stressful. And one of the things that I really want to do is to make your lives at this point in time less stressful. So if you have a less stressful maths, maybe you can focus on your English and really, really boost your grade up in your English. There are certain circumstances where you really do need to do the higher tier. If you need that grade to get into college or get onto your A-levels, then you've really got no choice but to do the higher tier. If you need a six to get onto A-level, if you need a seven to get onto A-level, then you have no choice but to do the higher tier. You don't get to take the easier option of doing the foundation paper. If you're currently on the higher tier and you want to switch to the foundation, this might be a slightly harder conversation to have because your teachers want you to get the higher grades possible so you might need to go in and advocate for yourself. People at home might need to go in and advocate for yourself to say to them, actually, you know, we've got no desire to do maths in the future. A grade five will be fine in maths. We need to reduce the stress levels and this is one of the ways that we can think to do it. Obviously, doing the foundation paper doesn't guarantee you get a five in maths. You might still only get a four in maths, but a four is still a pass and if that that's what we're aiming for then that is what we're aiming for. What would be absolutely awful is if you are a grade 5 student and you tried the higher tier in maths, the first question was so confusing to you, maybe it's like a really hard thirds question but it's still like a single number answer, that it puts you off for the whole of the rest of the paper and you get so stressed in the exam actually you really can't focus and you come out with less marks than you need to even get a four, a three, then you're going to end up failing and you'll have to resit it next year. This is not what we want, we want you to pass first time. So there are lots of pros and cons to each side, doing foundation tier is easier, doing a higher tier will get you a higher mark. It is not for me to say which is the right option, you need to think about what is going on in your life, talk to your teachers, talk to the people at home and decide what is the best for you. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.